Hello from London, I'm Kay Barron and welcome to a new episode of Style SOS, where we solve the season's biggest fashion dilemmas. Today's dilemma is how to wear spring-summer 22 trends now. From mini skirts, bold colour, through to bodycon dresses that are slightly risque, I'm going to talk you through our favourite spring-summer 22 trends that we've just seen on the runways and how to style them this season. The first trend I'm going to talk to today is the mini skirt. It dominated the Spring Summer 22 runways, so there's no getting away from it. But there are lots of ways that you can wear it to make sure that you're comfortable. Today I'm wearing a Versace mini with a simple white shirt, which I'm sure you have many of in your closet. As a disclaimer, I never used to wear mini skirts. I think as I get older, I get more confident. Personally for me, when I do have my legs out, I will still always have to wear it with a heel. These patent Gianvito Rossi ones are amazing and they do go with everything. A key to this look as well that I love that goes with everything is an oversized black cashmere roll neck. This partly tucked in to the mini skirt just kind of balances things out and I do love that feeling of being really cozy on top and having your legs out. I totally understand those who don't want to have bare legs, especially as we move into fall. And then I do recommend some opaque tights, make sure they're not too heavy so you can still see a little bit of skin through them and then a boot because then you'll feel a bit more covered up and a little bit more confident. And my final two points about the mini skirt. First of all is a beauty tip that I have stolen from Victoria Beckham is to use her collaboration with Augustus Bedar, this amazing power serum on your legs. And my final point about the mini is that it's always above the knee. On the knee for me is a no-no. For the second trend, as you might be able to tell, we're going to talk colour, and a lot of colour, from head to toe. I am completely obsessed with this Bottega two-piece, in a colour I would never normally wear, but it is bringing me so much joy and has put a smile on my face as soon as I put it on. And I know that for some people who are not used to wearing a lot of colour, let me tell you that wearing it from top to toe is really easy, because you don't have to think about what else you're going to wear, but actually really flattering, because it really elongates your figure, even for me at a small five foot four and a half. And I'm completely obsessed with this one from JW Anderson. With something like this, the best thing to do is just to keep it quite simple underneath. Just go for a black vest or a white vest and maybe loads of chains. I think the fit on this is great as well because the trousers are quite wide, but the jacket is tailored and nipped in and super flattering. With so much colour, I would suggest that you go for a neutral coloured handbag. Like this one from Saleron, when I mean, you can't go wrong with a Saleron handbag. And just over the shoulder as well, you don't want it across the body when it kind of dominates too much. I would also encourage you to play with white accessories when wearing colour. This Bottega white handbag does look incredibly fresh and really stand out against the suit, but also try it in white shoes and even white jewellery too. But if colour is not your thing, or a lot of colour is not your thing, I'm going to urge you to at least try one piece. It really is about the bold colours, and this hot pink cardigan by Versace is a good place to start. It's really easy, just layer over a white t-shirt or a white vest, and with your favourite blue jeans, because I think when you pair this with black, it kind of kills it a little bit, so really do go with the blue. The final trend I'm going to talk to you about today is the knit dress, but not as you know it. it might sound scary, it's not. I feel like I may have scared you with some of the trends for Spring Summer 22 today, but as you can see, there's lots of ways you can interpret it to suit you. Today I'm wearing this incredible Caperni dress. Tight, yes, but do I feel uncomfortable? Absolutely not. This is actually making me stand taller and really kind of care about my posture, and actually having the cutouts up by the shoulders is really flattering. In the fall, I would wear a dress like this with boots like these, which are by Gianvito Rossi. But in the summer, these dresses work incredibly well, especially with bare legs and maybe a coloured sandal. This piece by Dion Lee is incredibly elegant on. It's actually a great colour that suits many skin tones. And again, having the cutout details at the top um, doesn't feel maybe as exposed as you could be. And maybe just a couple of hints of skin at the bottom. But I do get it if head to toe bodycon isn't your thing. So again, we can try a little bit softer with separates. This is a great place to start with Kate, who are great at uh, bodycon and making it really form fitting, which is actually incredibly flattering. Or you can do something maybe slightly more risque. This is Nina Rishi and it just has the cutouts on the side. My tip with cutouts is that you have to make sure that you are wearing something very fitted. Anything that becomes a little bit baggy with cutouts might end up revealing more than you were intending to. 
When it comes to accessories, I think if you're wearing an all black look, especially when it's really fitted, it's quite nice to have a little bit of fun with color. And no one quite has fun with color like JW Anderson. And if you're looking for something to cover up, I mean, I always go for a denim jacket. You can't go wrong. And this one from Saint Laurent just fits perfectly on the waist so it still keeps the nice shape. I hope that answered your style SOS. Thank you so much for joining me and we look forward to seeing you for our next episode.